In other news, with food security an ever-present concern, food waste is an increasingly growing problem, particularly in the West. But a new and unique Israeli innovation may soon be the solution. Joining me to talk about it is CEO of Microbiome, Erez Danieli. Erez, it's great to have you with us. Thank you so much. Great to be here. Thank you very much. All right, so let, let's start with the, defining the problem. There are hundreds of millions of tons of fresh produce that are produced every year. 40% of it goes to landfill? Yes. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, around 40% of that going to waste. We're speaking about hundreds of thousands of millions of tons, metric tons that are going to waste annu annually. How does that translate into dollars and cents? <sighs> well, it's around half a trillion dollars per a annum. Half a, a trillion. trillion. 400 billion to 500 billion a year. Take into consideration that these numbers are only going to grow. The problem only going to be uh, grow because in one hand you have population that keep on growing and you're probably going to speak about 10 billion people globally in, tw in two decades from now and global warming is not going to be uh, going, to, going to disappear. So you have a short shortage of land and water at the other end. And this is a problem that continues with us for a long period of time. So what are some of the, what are some of the biggest drivers for this waste? Uh, it's across the supply chain. So you have, a, when you are a post-harvesting, you are taking the agricultural produce across the supply chain through processing plants and uh, pack, pack houses and then marine container to ship them all over the world. And a, Across this uh, supply chain, you have waste exactly like in your refrigerator. Right. So in your refrigerator, probably you know every once in a while you can have your uh, rotten, uh, rotten yeah. uh, apple or rotten pear. So multiply it by thousands of thousands and you have the same across the supply chain worldwide. All right, so how, how does microbiome intend to fix that? Like, what, what's the solution? Well, what's the tech? I will try to simplify it. Sure, please. Okay? <laughs> for, for me, yeah. especially. For me. No, it's, for yeah. me. For me and for you. So now we are surrounding in this uh, nice studio with thousands of different sp species of bacteria. Mm. And those bacteria are actually the numbers that uh, uh, scientists are familiar, familiar sure. with are around 2 million. And you have those existing bacteria everywhere, and you have it within, within those processing warehouses as well. Most of them are beneficial bacteria, but some of them are harmful bacteria, and those are the ones who are creating all the problem and the microbial, microbial spoilage. What we are doing, we're actually changing the balance. We are using, using a green and very natural solution to change the balance within those storage places and cooling rooms we have a mixture of strains of beneficial bacteria that uh, with nutrition that we are using, we can stable it for a long period of time. time. And when we are applying it in, in a storage room, we actually taking control of the entire uh, cavity. So instead of having, let's say, 80% of pathogens within the room and 20% of good bacteria, right. we are uh, we, are, we are changing it to 80 or 90% of our good bacteria. Okay, so you have this so-called good bacteria yes. that, is essentially, th that is essentially taking, the sp taking up all the nutrients and the, and the resources Correct. of the negative bacteria. Correct. A and then at the end of the day, it's, it's a completely natural process that... Or, or, or it's a completely, completely natural, natural actually, uh, what technology. We are, correct. What you're actually saying, we are empowering nature. We are and it's healthy for consumers to eat it? Yes, yes, because... And it keeps using... the food on the shelf longer. <laughs> Correct. It, it's, it keeps the food on the shelf life. It's re reducing uh, almost completely the waste and the microbial spoilage. And it's actually a very holistic approach because what we are doing, we are not uh, tackling only one kind of bacteria. Right. We are changing the entire, uh, I would say, uh, the entire microbiome Right. Of the, cav the, the cavity of the treated area. So we're actually good for colis, E. coli, and salmonella, and botrytis, and gray root, and any other bacteria that you don't know them and I Would don't. Would you consider know them. it probiotic, or is that, or no, that doesn't really apply here? It's, 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 a pro <laughs> it's probiotic, but it, sure. some, by the way, some of those bacteria are not exactly the same, 
are the ones that you are using in your ActiMail, for example. You know, the right. Danone ActiMail. Well, so, so where else can this be applied, though? Is this like, can this technology or, or this process be used in, say, the medical field? Yes, it can. So if you think about this holistic approach, we are taking control of the entire space and right. we are, you know, reducing the amount of pathogens. You can take it into hospitals, for example, and replacing the disinfection uh, 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 cleaning wow. that they are using today. And this is one of the proof of concept that we're actually doing today with one of the uh, leading hospitals in Israel. Or you is, can is that what's next right now for microbiome? Then? I hope so. I hope so. All, 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 also chicken crops and cow sheds, you know, they have a lot of E. coli and salmonella issues as well. And if we can reduce it by using natural solution, it could be fantastic. I, I mean, it's, a, it's an incredible solution. It's a very unique solution. It is. Um, it and, is. and I understand that it is one of the trending accredited investments on uh, Investination. So if, uh, if people, it's a crowdfunding platform, so people at home who want to get in on this, uh, that is where you want to find it on Investination. Search microbiome. Erez, thank you so much for telling us about this. This is amazing. Thank you very much for your time.